Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you everything you need to know about setting up root motion in Unity. I personally struggle a lot with this topic and couldn't find a good and quick tutorial yet. At first I will show you what my assumption about root motion was and how it's not done. Then I'll show you how to correctly export a 3D character with a weapon in Blender and how it is imported in Unity. I'll shortly describe what you need to consider in the import settings and how to get root motion working. That's it for the introduction, let's jump into the tutorial. Step 0. How it's not done. When I first read about root motion in Unity, I thought that it's enough to simply add a bone to the rig, which copies the location and rotation along the appropriate axis. So I created another bone and only copied the X and Y translation if I only wanted to apply root motion for the forwards and sidewards movement. I thought that's it, exported the model, imported it in Unity and tried everything to get root motion running. Of course it didn't work out until I carefully thought about root motion again. Step 1. Identify your root motion bone. The solution is easier than I expected. And you may wonder why I thought the way I did. But I realized that the root motion bone needs to be exactly what its name says. It needs to be a root bone. To be more precise, it needs to be the root bone of all the deformation bones which directly influence your mesh. You may also have controller bones that only affect other bones and therefore only manipulate the mesh indirectly. Those bones don't have to be children of your root motion bone. Even though I'm not that experienced in setting up rigs, I believe that each correctly built rig contains something like a root motion bone. Just look at your rig and identify the bone which acts as the base of the motion and is kind of a root for the other bones. When I looked at my rig, I realized that my root motion bone is the hip's raw bone. And I'm convinced that for most humanoid and maybe even for animal-like rigs, the hips are kind of a root bone. To cut the long story short, you don't have to do anything in Blender, for most rigs. Step 2. Export as FBX. I'll create another tutorial about my best way to export a model from Blender to FBX and will link it in the description soon. For now I'm showing you only the steps I normally perform. Select the rig and all the meshes you want to export. Click File, Export, FBX. In the export settings hold Shift and select Armature and Mesh. Check selected objects within the main tab and only deform bones in the Armature tab. Give your export a name and hit Export FBX. Step 3. Import in Unity. I recommend you to always override FBX files in the explorer like I'm doing in the video, instead of importing it within Unity. Because that way Unity re-imports the file but keeps all the import settings you carefully adjusted. So now switch to Unity and select the file in the project view. In the rig tab you may want to use a humanoid rig, but in this tutorial I'm using a generic one and specify the hips raw as the root node. In the animation tab make sure that import animations is enabled. Then select an animation from the list. Step 4. Adjust the animation settings. Now you can specify the settings of that particular animation. If the animation should repeat again and again, check loop time. Loop pose is a bit misleading. It actually means that Unity tries to make the loop seamlessly. I recommend you to make your animations as seamless as possible up front in Blender, because otherwise Unity distorts your animation too much. Lastly, you can choose what should be affected by the root motion. For example, if you want to specify the rotation via script, instead of let it be controlled by the root motion, check Bake into Pose for the root transform rotation. Or maybe you want to control the jump height via script. For that case, you need to check Bake into Pose for root transform position Y. As you can see, the object doesn't transform along the Y axis anymore. Of course. Your animation needs to be prepared for that settings. 
The same is true for X and Z position. Bake into pose for X and Z position is often used for stationary animations like idle animations. The based upon drop downs each provide two different options original and root node. Original uses the offset specified in the animation file. Root node sets the transform of the object to the root node's transform. Play around with those settings a little bit and you will immediately get a feeling for them. Step 5. Set up a simple animation controller. That was actually everything about root motion for generic rigs. We have only one problem. Our weapon seems to live its own life. Before we address that problem, we drag our character into the scene. Next, we create a new animator controller. Then, we assign the controller to the animator component of our character in the scene. Create an empty state and select the triple smash attack clip from the list. When we hit the play button, it automatically performs animation. Well, but there's still the problem with the weapon flying around. Step 6. Use copy bones. The problem we have with our stuff is the same described at the beginning. The stuff isn't a child of the root bone. The easiest solution I found for that is to introduce a copy bone, which is a child of the root motion bone, and simply copies the motion of the weapon. So within Blender, go into Edit Mode and create a new bone. Call it Copy Stuff and make it a child of hips raw. Switch to Pose Mode and add a copy location constraint and set the target to your weapon's bone. Add a copy rotation constraint as well. That's it. The only thing you need to consider is to not export the stuff mesh. So select all meshes but the stuff mesh and the metric and then export the FBX file. Export the stuff separately and import both files in Unity. Everything remains the same, except the animations are performed without the weapon in the character's hand. So drag the separately exported stuff into the scene and make it a child of the copy bone. Now adjust the offset of the weapon, so that it's exactly the same like in Blender. In my opinion, an idle or T-pose animation is most suitable for that task. Great, now everything works fine and we've set up root motion in Unity. Here's a little checklist at the end of the tutorial. First, make sure that your root motion bone is the parent of all other deformation bones that directly deform your mesh. Second. Overwrite the FBX files directly in the Windows Explorer or Max Finder. Third, specify the root motion node within the Rig tab in the import settings of the FBX file. Fourth, for each animation in the Animation tab, configure Loop Time, Loop Pose and Bake into Pose to meet your needs. Fifth, use copy bones for weapons and other objects which can't be children of the root motion bone. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you agree with my opinion that root motion is actually pretty easy to understand. 
Now open Unity and Blender and create some awesome animations and games. If you liked it, please support us on Patreon, join our weekly newsletter and at least give us a like and subscribe to our channel. So have a nice day, it's yours insane.